Okay, so configuring Apache with self-signed certificates. Um, for this, we're going to use OpenSSL, and I already have an Apache server set up running on the address here, 192.168.182, and I have SSH'd into that machine, and I've got the command prompt up. So here we are, and just so you can see, if we do um, IPA, we can see here we are in the machine, 192.168.182. So to do this, we're going to use OpenSSL, and um, I've got my notes here of the command. So the first command we need to put in is to actually generate the certificate and the key. So it's this guy. Um, this just says how long the key lasts, um, the RSA size, and the important bit that we need to take a note of is key out, and there's the self-signed key, the path to it, and Etsy SSL certs Apache self-signed dot CRT is the path to the certificate. So we need to take a note of those because we're going to put them into a config file a little bit later on. So we'll run that. Oh, okay. Forgot to mention, need to be root to run that. There we go. Right. So it asks you a load of arbitrary questions. You don't actually have to fill anything in there. Um, just for a laugh, we'll put state. Let's just hit the turn all the way down. And there we go. Believe it or not, it's as easy as that to create the certificates. So the first file that we have to edit is this guy. Etsy Apache 2 conf available SSL params.conf. So let's jump in there. And this is what we have to put in. I've pasted the output in. Um, this is just some stuff to tell uh, Apache to use um, SSL. So once you have that in, if we hit the escape button and write this out. Okay. Tortured by VI. There we go. Okay, so once we've put that in there, I can put a link to that information in the video notes. We just need to cp slash etsy slash apache to sites available to backup. So basically make a backup copy with that command. Okay. Just hit return on that. The next thing we need to do is edit the default SSL.conf. Okay, so now that we're backed up, we need to go in and edit this file. Okay, and the changes we need to make are we need to get the server name and make sure it's 192.168.182, which is the address that. Um, the IP address of this machine. If you had a domain name, that's where you would put that. Um, and the other thing we need to change are these two things here. The certificate file and certificate key file. And they need to, by default, they say something about snake oil. So you need to change those to the two paths that we used when we created the keys at the beginning. Okay. Once you've done that, we then need to edit. Let me just exit out of this so I can show you. We then need to edit the Etsy Apache 2 sites available triple zero default con file. And what we need to do is create a redirect so that when someone goes to HTTP, the address of our site, they're redirected to the HTTPS address. Okay. So, um, why is it saying this is a new directory? How odd. Etsy Apache 2 default.conf. Okay, well, we need to create a virtual host file in here. So, this is the config we need. And let's just go up here, tidy this up a little bit virtual host. That is exactly what we need and 
let's just pop our IP in here. 192.168.182. Okay, let's write that out. Okay, it's giving me a wee error. Oh, I think I know what's happened here. Right, let's do... I think I forgot to put a slash. I did. Uh, this should make a difference. Slash. There we go. That's better. That's what we need in there. We're getting the syntax highlighting now. So all this is doing is this is redirecting traffic that comes to our default route to this address here with HTTPS. Okay. Now, from here on in, we don't have to edit any config files. It's literally just a case of using Apache 2 enable mod SSL. So, run that. Okay. And it says to activate a new configuration, we need to rerun this. So we'll do a little restart. Okay. <clears throat> now, we need to enable the headers mod. Okay. And once again, just press up twice to get our restart command back. Restart Apache. We need to enable the default SSL site. Okay. And now we need to reload Apache, not restart. So reload, because it's only a site, it's not a, it's not a module. Okay. Now, we need to enable the config for SSL parameters. This command, Apache to enable config SSL params. And then again, we need to reload. Now, we need to finally run Apache to control config test. Run that. Don't worry about this error. Um, we can set, <coughs> excuse me, we can set server name to suppress that, but it's this bit that's important. Syntax, okay, if you had an error there, it would be something in the syntax. And a final restart of the server. Okay, so we should be ready to navigate back over to our browser window. And let's see if it's worked. Here we go. So if I try and refresh this page, it should redirect me to the HTTPS address. Let's just try a cache refresh. There we go. Okay, so we're getting a redirect to 192.168.182 with HTTPS at the beginning. Now, the reason this has come up is because I don't have an external uh, body like VeriSign. That's why it's called a self-signed certificate. If someone else signs your certificate, then you can get the green padlock. But I think we should get an amber padlock here. So let's do um, advanced and add exception, confirm secure exception. And we're through. And as you can see, the padlock up here and the HTTPS show that we've successfully enabled HTTPS in Apache and we've created a self-signed certificate. So that's how you do it. A fair few steps there, but not anything too difficult at all. And now that we've done this, um, this is actually a follow-on in a series of videos that I'm doing. So we'll probably be able to take this to the next step, but for, for configuring Apache, HTTPS and creating the certificate and that's all for this video. Thank you.